Hello viewers, welcome to another vlog and today the topic of discussion is extra medullary hematopoiesis. So what does it mean? The definition of extra medullary hematopoiesis is the process of hematopoiesis that is occurring outside bone marrow. So the normal site for production of blood elements are bone marrow. So if in any adult human being, if the process of hematopoiesis is taking place outside marrow, then it is known as extra medullary hematopoiesis. Now let's talk about the fetal life. Now where does the hematopoiesis takes place in fetal life? First occurrence of hematopoiesis that is observed after conception that is in the yolk sac. And after that, the definitive hematopoiesis takes place in the AGM region. AGM region. That means aorta gonad mesonephrus region of embryo. So the process of hematopoiesis begins in the yolk sac. And after that, the definitive elements of blood, they appear in the AGM region. And during the course of gestation, these hematopoietic elements from this AGM region, they are transported to liver and spleen. And during fetal life, this liver and spleen becomes the primary site for hematopoiesis. And after six months of gestational age, these hematopoietic elements, they gradually, they are transported to the bone marrow. These hematopoietic elements are transported to the bone marrow. And during birth, the principal site for hematopoiesis is bone marrow. And all the bones of our body are capable to produce hematopoietic elements during birth. And after that, the medullary cavity of all the bones, they are gradually replaced by the fatty tissues. And during adult life, only the bones in the axial skeleton that means skull vertebra ribs these are the bones in the axial skeletons and also in the pelvic bones these bones are then capable of forming mature elements let's talk about the types of extramedullary hematopoiesis there are two types of extramedullary hematopoiesis the first one that is active extramedullary hematopoiesis and the second one that is the passive form of extramedullary hematopoiesis the active form that is present in the fetal life that means the production of bone marrow from the liver and the spleen and during passive hematopoiesis this actually occurs in the adult life when there is some uh, uh, difficulty in the process of blood formation then there is for occurrence of this passive form of extramedullary hematopoiesis. Now what are the sites for extramedullary hematopoiesis? The common sites of extramedullary hematopoiesis are spleen, liver, and lymph node. And the uncommon sites can be breast, lung, heart and even the soft tissues also. Now let's talk about the micro environment for extramedullary hematopoiesis. The most common organ involved in the process of extramedullary hematopoiesis is spleen. And when there is extramedullary hematopoiesis in spleen, then there is expression of this CXCL12 molecule that is one ligand for CXCR4 receptor that is the ligand for CXCR4 receptor and CXCR4 receptors are present on the stem cells and these receptors helps the stem cell for homing that means when some 
uh, stem cell is liberated from bone marrow and it, it is traveling through the blood vessels and when it reaches spleen then that CX CR4 4 receptor it will attach with this CXCL12 ligand and that is present in the splenic soft tissues. So in case of extramedullary hematopoiesis there will be increased expression of CXCL12 in the splenic tissue and this will help in the homing of stem cells in the spleen. So this molecule is very much important in the process of homing. Now let's talk about the pathological forms of extramedullary hematopoiesis. The most important cause of pathological cause of extramedullary hematopoiesis is myelofibrosis as we know that myelofibrosis is such a condition when there is formation of fibrous tissue within the bone marrow and along with that there is gradual depletion in the all hematopoietic elements. So there is less amount of hematopoiesis in bone marrow in case of myelofibrosis and in that case all the other organs like liver, spleen, they start to produce blood elements. So, in case of myelofibrosis, the type of extramedullary hematopoiesis that is occurring, that is pathological. Also, in case of thalassemia, as we know that thalassemia is such a condition, when there is decreased production of the globin chains in hemoglobin. So, what happens? In the precursor forms of RBC, when there is depletion of one globin chain, so there is a relative excess of another globin chain. So this unpaired excess amount of globin chain that is precipitated within those precursor cells. And that leads to intramedullary destruction of all the RBC precursor cells and that leads to less amount of RBC, less amount of hemoglobin in the circulation. So there is a need for production of RBCs in case of thalassemia. In case of thalassemia, liver and spleen, these are the organs, they take part in the extramedullary hematopoiesis. As a result, there is presence of hepatomegaly and splenomegaly in case of thalassemia. Now let's talk about the different forms of hemolytic anemias. What does it mean? Hemolytic anemia means there is destruction of RBC within our body and this destruction of RBC may be due to a lot of causes. The most common causes are sickle cell anemia, hereditary spherocytosis. These are the commonest forms of uh, abnormalities leading to extramedullary hematopoiesis. What happens in case of sickle cell anemia? There is one substitution of amino acid in the globin chain and that leads to uh, formation of the hemoglobin polymers and these polymers ultimately uh, they distort the RBCs and these distorted RBCs are liable to uh, uh, get lysed within the spleen. So there is destruction of RBCs and there is increased need for production of RBCs and in that case liver and spleen they helps to produce more RBCs so there is hepatomegaly and splenomegaly and in that case also we can see there is presence of extramedullary hematopoiesis within liver and spleen. So that's it about extramedullary hematopoiesis and if you are new to this channel then don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also if you find this video informative then don't forget to share it with your friends. Thank you.